What's up, everybody? It's Matt from the house. I'm here with Jason from Burton, and he's going to show us a few of the new 2223 AK pieces. Let's check this out. All right, so first up, we have got one of the most technical jackets out in the market nowadays. This is the Hover Jacket. And what makes this jacket so special from the rest of the line? Well, um, just AK in general is definitely what we view as equipment. This is what our team rides. This is what they're using in the backcountry. This is the stuff that if you are really using this stuff, uh, you need to be warm, be dry, you need to be function more than anything. Uh, that's really where the AK line comes in. Uh, and the Hover Stretch Jacket uh, is definitely a great example of that. So it is that, uh, that Gore-Tex C-Net fabric, so it is there's that face fabric, so it is a stretch. So that's you know, one of the differences when you go up to, to AK, you get like more uh, technical face fabrics, that sort of thing. The stitching is actually kind of like a turnstile stitching, so there's no exposed stitching on it. And just reduced paneling, I mean the stuff is just really lightweight. So the Stretch Jacket is uh, a three-layer jacket, so it does have you know, the Gore membrane with moisture wicking layer, basically fused into uh, the fabric itself okay. along with the face fabric so it's all just you know one super thin super functional really packable uh, piece so basically everything just works better you're getting yep. maximum breathability you're getting maximum mm -hmm. waterproof and you're getting maximum comfort and I think a big thing to note too is a lot of people don't realize is yeah these jackets are a little bit more expensive and they don't have an insulation to them and it's actually a good thing because that actually allows them to make more technical pieces and then you can actually use this jacket in a wide variety of conditions. You can layer up a lot of stuff underneath and make this jacket super, super warm. It's gonna breathe, it's gonna give you that waterproofing. Or you can also shed those layers and you can actually even maybe use this on a little bit warmer rainy day, almost as like a rain jacket too. Yeah, totally, because it is it is Gore-Tex, so it is you know waterproof, breathable, you know everything that it needs to be. But you know it's a good point on being able to layer. So AK stuff is definitely built a little bit baggier. It's articulated a little bit more, you got more strategic room in your elbows, the pants, you know, knees, you have more room there. But it's designed to be layered with. So that's why, and also just maximum mobility because, you know, you're using this in the backcountry, split boarding, snowboarding, you know, anywhere really, just you need that mobility. So that's why the AK stuff tends to fit. Uh, just a little bit bigger and that comes you know directly from from our team a lot of features that make this you know like let's say if somebody if you are split boarding this is a great jacket because it's really lightweight it's really packable so on the ascent you can just roll it up packs away into your into your pack you know really easy pull it out you're good to go it's got big dump pockets so one of the things too is when you're split boarding you want to take your skins and put them in close to your body so they stay nice and warm. So uh, you keep them warm, they stick to your boards better. Yeah. So, um, you know, or just whatever you want to throw in there, gloves, anything. Sometimes you just get to the top and you just need places to put stuff. So, you know, that's where these dump pockets come in. You know, removable powder skirts on there. You know, just a ton of, you know, chest easy access pockets on the top. Obviously pit zips, full waterproof zippers. So maximum waterproofing and breathability is, is the key here. Yeah. And that's one of the things I always say too when it comes to snowboard gear is that you spend more, you get more. And I always say it doesn't necessarily mean it's better, but actually when it comes to outerwear, it usually is better. Yeah, this is built for the people that are getting into those harsh conditions, split boarding, and they need that packable stuff. But if you are just an average rider going out to the hill, it's not like you're not gonna benefit from the technology that's in this jacket. All right, and the next up in the line, if you are one of those people that wants to get a Gore-Tex jacket, maybe you're cold a lot and you wanna have a little bit of insulation, then we're looking at the Swash. This thing is a pretty rad jacket. It kinda of came from the Cyclic, which is one of the most popular jackets in the line, but basically, again, for those people that wanted to have a little bit of insulation in their jacket, right? Yeah, um, areas where it's really cold, you know, in the Midwest here, where, where we ride most of the time, this is one of our best sellers because there is, you know, it does get pretty cold, but it, um, it's not a ton where it's you can't dump that heat again with it being AK it's got all the breathable features it does have the you know giant pit zips and all that but it does have just a little bit of insulation to it if you do want to bolt there's you know still room to layer even more if you do have a you know a good mid layer I'd say probably one of the best do all jackets in our line for any condition is the is the swash yeah and not that you can't go split boarding in this thing no. but you're probably more of a resort rider you're spending you know a lot of time out riding mm -hmm. you want that maximum breathability you 
want that waterproofing, you want that high-end jacket, but maybe you don't need the packability, and maybe you don't want to have to layer up a lot underneath it. Maybe even on an average day, just a good first layer with that Primaloft insulation, this would actually be, mm -hmm. most average people would be pretty comfortable with yeah. just that first layer. All right, and then next up, we have the Cyclic jacket, which is, again, super, super popular. It's got all the features that you need in an AK jacket. Um, but again, you're gonna do a little bit more versatility because it doesn't have insulation to it. And you're basically gonna vary how warm you are or how cool you are with what you wear underneath it. Yeah, that's what's nice about the Cyclic is it, it's something that you can you know dial in as a system. You know, we talked about that on the hover where you know you really want to make sure you have a multiple layers and things like that. Um, but this is just a you know, lower end price point. It's still fully Gore-Tex, still guaranteed to keep you warm, keep you dry, it still has a lot of the features, but um, it is a two layer construction. So you do have that uh, moisture wicking layer kind of you know, uh, as a separate liner versus the three layer. So obviously it's a little less expensive to produce, but uh, we're talking you know, different price points here. And I always say too, it's when it comes to outerwear, you know, it's just as important to stay dry from the outside as it is from the inside. And that's why Gore-Tex is so important is that you get breathability to keep your, keep you from sweating and also to help keep your sweat off of you with your first layer. And then obviously we've got the outside being waterproof, keeping the water off from the outside. So you're gonna stay warmer than you would think without actually having to wear a ton of stuff. And that's a great place for the cyclic to come into play is that you don't have to spend a ton of money, but you're also getting an insane jacket. All right, and last up for jackets, we've got the men's Velocity and the women's Kimmy. Kind of an anorak style jacket. We've got that half zip and we've got that big zip down the side so it's easy to get in and out of. Uh, but I know you really like this jacket, right? Yes, this is actually my, my own personal jacket. You know, team really likes and what a lot of people really like about anoraks is that you don't, you don't have the zipper that goes all the way down, you know, the chest. Yeah. So it's only right to here. So it just creates uh, a lot, just better mobility. You don't have that, you know, stiff zipper going all the way down. Right. So it was a little bit, you know, different to get in and out. You know, you got to throw it over and zip it up the side or whatever. But again, this is AK, this is equipment. You know, you should be spending some time getting the right gear on. I mean, one of the main benefits of having an anorak is that it's just a little bit easier to move around and also a little more technical too. It's just you know, less seams or less things for water to get in and things like that, so. Yeah, so it's super, super easy to move in, like Jason said. Then obviously too, we're helping to keep the price down too when there's less stuff to actually put mm -hmm. on the jacket. That means that the price can come down a little bit as well. Yeah, so basically it's it's very similar to the cyclic jacket, but you just have an anorak version. All right, and then moving into pants, we've actually got the swash pant for men and the summit pant for women. And it's honestly one of the best selling, it's actually probably the best selling pant in the AK line, right? Uh, yeah, because it's, you know, it's a great Gore-Tex pant, really good fit. It's got a ton of pocketing, you know, really easy access. You're sitting on the chairlift. Um, you can reach them right on your thighs there. You know, the inner thigh venting, adjustable waist, the leg lifts, which are really nice. Um, you kind of, a lot of muddy parking lots and things out there. Raises up the cuff of the pant. Perfect, so those riders out there that just want that ultimate AK pant for a ride and resort, ride in backcountry, even ride in the park too. Again, check out the Swash and the Women's Summit. And then next up, one of the more notable pants in the AK line, we actually have the Cyclic. And this is always one of their best sellers every year. And because of the popularity of this, there is now a bib version yeah. as well. Yeah, so again, a full Gore-Tex bib, so which is actually kind of nice, really for any riding condition, but yeah. especially deeper snow. If you're split boarding, it's always nice to have the bibs on and you can dump a lot of moisture if you need to. Um, you've got extra pockets right on your chest. And then also when you're layering with it without a jacket on, uh, it actually just provides more coverage up here. Just another layer. So then it's, you know, keeps your core nice and warm. Adjustable straps, kind of give there too. Especially what's nice about bibs is it does allow you to adjust the height of the pant. And again, they're both full Gore-Tex, fully taped, fully waterproof, breathable, you know, better face fabrics. You know, it's got the, the nice stitching that's not exposed. And this pant does come in a lot of different colorways. And again, this is another one of those items where whether you're in the back country or whether you're riding park all day, this is a great place to spend your money. I always say too that if you've got X amount of dollars to spend on your outerwear, your jacket and your pants, spend a little bit more money on your pants. You're not always gonna use your jacket, but pretty much no matter what the temperature is out, you're always gonna use your pants. So it's actually better to spend your money and get a little bit nicer, maybe get into the AK pant versus the standard lineup 
and get that little bit higher quality. Uh, but these things aren't that expensive for a Gore-Tex piece anyway with all those high-end features. All right, so when you're looking at the AK series, a good thing to note, again, is that if you do spend more, you get more, and yeah, it is better products, better construction, better materials, and it really is an investment. It's not just about getting good outerwear, it's about having good outerwear that's not only going to last you a long time, but it's gonna work in a wide, wide variety of conditions. But if you got any questions about any of this stuff or any of the Burton outerwear that we have at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's actually gonna fit you and it's gonna fit your riding style. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new piece of AK gear, whether it's pants, jackets, or both, and get out and ride. Because any day riding is a good day riding.